Hey guys, welcome to Golf Ball Addict. I appreciate you being here. I'm back with another tech review. So this time we have the Bushnell Golf V5 Rangefinder. All right, so just a couple things here with the Bushnell. Um, it has a 1300 yard range, but it only has a 400 yard range to the flag. So if you're just aiming it at a sand trap or aiming it at the group in front of you, you've got up to 1300 yards. I'm not sure that you need 1300 yards, but you got them. Um, and then 400 to the flag, you're never gonna really need that for the flag. I don't think most people can hit, I mean, some people can, but most people can't hit that far. So um, overall, uh, that's just what you need. And of course, it does come with a two year warranty. So if anything happens to it, you can contact Bushnell within the first two years you have it, and they'll definitely get your replacement. So two year warranty is nice to have. That's what you'd expect. Honestly, I will admit though, I'd expect a little bit more out of a product that costs 300 because most golf GPSs come with a two year. So if I'm paying a little bit more premium price, I do expect maybe a three or four year, maybe even more. Um, so I wish it was a little higher in that regard. All right, so Bushnell has been making products for a very long time. They're one of the staples in golf tech. Um, every product I've used from them has been really well. I actually have a review of their little Phantom GPS, and I love that little thing. Um, we always have at least one on each cart when we go out, so I love that product. So I'm very excited to try this one. So um, a couple things about the product. It comes in a really nice carrying case, very good heavy duty, as you can feel it there. When we open it up, as you can see, the product has a really nice look to it. Um, definitely looks premium, feels premium, uh, has a good grip to it. It's got the yard meter, uh, it has the yard and meter mark on the side there. On the top, it's got the power button. And then on the side, we actually have, it doesn't, as you can see, this is actually a magnetic mount on this side. So you can actually take this and mount it to the side of your cart, which is an awesome feature that I didn't know I needed until I had it. Um, but yeah, overall, a really nice looking design, uh, very simple, but honestly very modern. And uh, there's one thing in particular that has me a little worried about it, if I'm being honest, and that's the price. So this retails for $299.99, which anytime you're paying that much for a GPS, I'm going to expect some very premium features. So I'm going to be really diving in and hopefully I can, I can justify that price because there's actually another video I have, or it's getting ready to come out soon, that... Um, I actually bought a $70 one off Amazon, and I will be comparing these two. So that's for a different video, but uh, for now, I do want to get into this one and see, is it really worth the $300 asking price? All right, so one of the other features of this one right here is it does come with a divot tool. It comes with the, uh, it's a field, Folds of Honor uh, divot tool with a little, as you can see, a little ball marker in there, pushes it up, magnetic. Honestly, it's a really nice quality. It looks great, feels great. But let's be honest, most divot tools are around 10 to $15, maybe 20 if you pray for a premium one. So um, I don't know if it adds that much value, but it is a cool little feature. And honestly, my mom didn't have one at the time. This is actually hers that she got for a gift. So I'm really glad she got this. She didn't have one. And now she's actually to the point where she needs to use one. So I'm glad she's got that. It's a really good one. It also comes with a cleaning cloth for the lens if you, you know get it dirty over time or if you have trouble seeing out of the top lens. Um, so that's good to have in there as well. The case also has a clip on it. There's multiple ways you can carry this around with you, whether clipping it on your bag, mounting it to the side, put it inside. There's just multiple ways you can handle it, which is nice. All right, so talk about the ease of use here. So I gotta say, it's pretty easy to use and it's very crystal clear. All you gotta do is just simply put your eye through the lens, kind of adjust it there. Just give it a top little click and within milliseconds, your target appears up. It's a very, very quick, it's very fast. And like I said, it's very, very clear. Like the image is very clear. So those are premium features I would expect out of a $300 rangefinder, and it does deliver pretty well on those. Another nice little feature of this one right here is when you do find the flag and you do aim at it, the inside of the ring actually lights up and flashes red to let you know that it did find the flag, which I'm not sure that's a feature you'd necessarily need. It is good for my mom because she actually doesn't have the greatest vision in the world. So sometimes she has a hard time seeing if it's reading the flag or not. And giving that extra feedback does help her. So I think it's a limited market, but it is a cool little feature. And that's really it. You know, as far as the accuracy, it's a bushnell. It's very accurate within a yard, you know, within plus or minus a yard. It's, it's absolutely 100% accurate. I haven't had any issues with. One feature was kind of missing from it though that I expected in a $300 rangefinder is slope. It doesn't have a slope feature. So it's not gonna calculate how to adjust for whether you're going downhill or whether you're going uphill. 
And I got to be honest with you guys, on a $300 rangefinder, I expect that. Mainly because the $70 one I bought off Amazon does have that. But overall, it's a very nice device. I really enjoy using it. It's very premium. It feels premium. But here's where it gets kind of tricky. I'm just not sure it's worth $300. I don't think you can convince me it is. There's a lot of these devices on the market right now. Callaway makes some. Bushnell even makes a couple underneath this one, I think. Um, Amazon has a bunch of Chinese brands ones that, you know, whether or not you believe in those or not, that's up to you. But my point is, is that this is pretty much top of the line when it comes to price. There's not much above this. So I don't see enough features here that, that would provoke that price. Now, if money's no issue to you and you want the best and you want it to feel premium, trust me, this thing feels premium. Um, in fact, there's actually a model above this, $100 more, that does have the slope. It feels even more premium. Um, but for most people, if you're looking for that kind of value like I do, I don't see spending $300 on it, unfortunately. I just don't think there's enough features there. If you could get it on like a Black Friday sale or something for $250, $200, somewhere in that range, I'd be more comfortable around the $200, but it's definitely worth more around that amount, but I just don't see a $300 price tag here. Gotta say, I love the magnetic feature was something I didn't even know I needed until I started using it, so I definitely enjoy that. And yeah, overall, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and it's tough. I'm not going to recommend it, not because it's a bad product, but simply because I just don't think the value's there. I think there are a ton of options for less money that you can go with um, that are going to give you a very similar experience. So thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, keep watching to keep saving. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel out a lot. I've got more content coming for you.